In this video, we will do a numerical problem on equilibrium of a firm. In this solution, we will write down given demand function Q equals 400 minus 2P and average cost function AC equals 5 plus Q by 50. We need to find the equilibrium price and output and the corresponding values of MC and MR. We know that a firm is in equilibrium when marginal revenue equals marginal cost or MR equals MC. Marginal revenue MR is obtained by taking the derivative of the total revenue R with respect to the output sold Q and marginal cost MC is obtained by taking the derivative of the total cost C with respect to the units of output produced, that is Q. In order to find the marginal revenue function MR, we need to find the total revenue function R. And in order to find the marginal cost function MC, we need to find the total cost function C. Now revenue equals price times quantity, that is R equals P times Q. From the demand function, we have Q equals 400 minus 2P. By transferring minus 2P to the left hand side and Q to the right hand side we have 2P equals 400 minus Q or P equals 400 minus Q by 2. By splitting the fractions we have 2 times 1 equals 2, 2 times 200 equals 400. Therefore the demand function expressed in terms of price P equals 200 minus Q by 2. So total revenue function R equals P times Q or 200 minus Q by 2 times Q. 200 times Q equals 200 Q minus 1 by 2. Q times Q equals Q square. Therefore the total revenue function R equals 200 Q minus 1 by 2 Q square. Let us now find the total cost function. The total cost function C equals average cost AC times Q. Since average cost function AC equals total cost function TC divided by the units of output produced Q, therefore average cost function AC times unit of output produced Q equals total cost function TC. The average cost function AC equals 5 plus Q by 50. So in place of AC we will write down 5 plus Q by 50 times Q. 5 times Q equals 5Q plus 1 by 50. Q times Q equals Q square. Therefore the total cost function C equals 5Q plus 1 by 50 Q square. Now since we have found the total revenue function and total cost function, we can now proceed to find the marginal revenue function and marginal cost function. The marginal revenue function MR equals TR by DQ that is derivative of R with respect to Q which is equal to derivative with respect to Q of 200 Q minus 1 by 2 Q square. Using the sum and difference rule the derivative with respect to Q of 200 Q minus 1 by 2 Q square is equal to derivative with respect to Q of the first term minus derivative with respect to Q of the second term. Using the constant times a function rule, the derivative with respect to Q of 200 Q equals 200 times derivative with respect to Q of Q minus using the constant times a function rule, the derivative with respect to Q of 1 by 2 Q square is equal to 1 by 2 times derivative with respect to Q of Q square. The derivative with respect to Q of Q is equal to 1 minus 1 by 2. Using the power function rule, the derivative with respect to Q of Q square is equal to 2Q. 200 times 1 equals 200 minus 2 in denominator can be cancelled out with 2 in the denominator. So we are left with Q. Therefore, the marginal revenue function MR which is equal to dr by dq that is derivative of r with respect to q is equal to 
200 minus q. Let us now find the marginal cost function. The marginal cost function denoted by mc is equal to dc by dq that is derivative of c with respect to q which is equal to derivative with respect to q of c that is 5q plus 1 by 50q square. Using the sum and difference rule the derivative with respect to q of 5q plus 1 by 50q square is equal to derivative with respect to q of the first term plus derivative with respect to q of the second term. Using the constant times a function rule, the derivative with respect to q of 5q is equal to 5 times derivative with respect to q of q plus again using the constant times a function rule, the derivative with respect to q of 1 by 50 q square is equal to 1 by 50 times derivative with respect to q of q square. The derivative with respect to q of q is equal to 1 plus 1 by 50 Using the power function rule, the derivative with respect to q of q square is equal to 2q. 2 times 1 equals 2. 2 times 25 equals 50. 5 times 1 equals 5 plus 1 by 25q. Therefore, the marginal cost function mc, which is equal to dc by dq, that is derivative of c with respect to q, is equal to 5 plus 1 by 25q. Now, at equilibrium, mr equals mc or 200 minus q equals 5 plus 1 by 25 q 200 minus 5 equals 1 by 25 q plus q 200 minus 5 equals 195 1 by 25 q plus q is equal to 26 by 25 q or 195 times 25 is equal to 26 times q 195 times 25 equals 4875 or q is equal to 4875 divided by 26 4875 divided by 26 equals 187.5 therefore the equilibrium quantity q is equal to 187.5 units. In order to obtain the equilibrium price, we need to substitute the equilibrium quantity Q in the demand function expressed in terms of price P equals 200 minus Q by 2. By substituting the equilibrium quantity Q equals 187.5 we have 187.5 divided by 2 equals 93.75. 200 minus 93.75 equals 106.25. Therefore, the equilibrium price P is equal to 106.25. Hence, the equilibrium quantity Q equals 187.5 and the equilibrium price P equals 106.25. Let us now find the corresponding values of MR and MC. The corresponding values of MR and MC can be obtained by substituting the value of Q in both the functions. 200 minus 187.5 is equal to 12.5. 187.5 divided by 25 equals 7.5. 5 plus 7.5 equals 12.5. Therefore, the corresponding values of MR and MC are MR equals 12.5 and MC equals 